It's another day and we're up on the mountain ahead of what seems to be another huge winter storm head this way tonight, expecting about a foot of snow. So we're gonna get done what we can get done and get the heck out of here and get home. Today's video is brought to you by Trex Decking. And we love Trex because it's such a low maintenance product when compared to wood decking, yet it's still affordable. We actually recommend it to all of our clients. Yep. We have for decades and it's gonna look great when we're done. We're gonna start putting that down today. Along with a bunch of other random stuff we can do now that Arlo is here. Good job, buddy. Were you polishing your tool belt all night? Oh, oh <laughs> Another thing we're gonna be doing is fire blocking, which goes in the wall cavity there, 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 all the way along the bottom edge of all the stringers so that a fire wouldn't engulf the stairs <laughs> super fast if there was a fire in this wall cavity because people need the stairs to get out. So. That's an important thing we're gonna do today. I'll get some footage of that, uh, along with some other blocking, like in the kitchen, they already started. You can see blocking from the bottom of cabinets, we'll do blocking from the top of cabinets, so that when we put the cabinets in, we can actually screw into solid blocking anywhere. You don't wanna hang cabinets from drywall if you can help it. <laughs> Never works good. Before putting decking down, we got to put this deck ledger flashing on. That's very important. It will get the water from the wall and put it out over this band instead of letting water go behind it. And to make it go all the way in, see it has this little turn down right there. We have to actually notch out a little bit of the top of the end of each joist to let that slot in. That's what Jamie's doing right now. Yep, see so it won't go. He's gonna take the saw <laughs> and get really angry and then make it work. There we go, just like that. Nice. Final step of the ledger flashing, we do a thing called blacking it, blacking we're, it out. We're gonna black it out here. So basically that means we're just gonna cover this gray plastic in the visible part with some nice aluminum flashing that's painted. And that's what you'll see instead of this gray plastic. -y stickers, looking. look, the stickers. And stickers, and they you, don't come off. You can't get them off. Yeah, so that just looks better. You'll see about an inch of that between the top of the decking and the bottom of the siding. What we're gonna be using today is this Trex Transcend Havana Gold decking. Some of it has grooved edges, and that's for the decking out in the field be attached with these little hidden fasteners like that and then some of it has rounded edges and that will be a face screwed and that will make the band board for this decking. Bunch of those. There's our screws for the outside rim board. And these are special clips for against the wall. They're just <laughs> these are special clips for against the wall. They're one-sided. That's what we got. First thing we're gonna do is this rim board, and that's because all the other decking's gonna butt into it. I want this to hang off about an inch so that when we go around these posts in the front, we have an inch left notched around, any less than that, and we'd be likely to break it. So I'm just gonna mark in four and a half and four and a half. Snap a line, and we'll do our uh, rim board. Here's a great pro tip for cutting decking or siding is we use this two by 12, we block up an inch and a half, spaced about every three feet. That holds a not so rigid material completely straight, so you can cut it instead of it being floppy. So that's great for decking and siding. We use a Forstner bit to make the rounded corner inside the cut that will match the rounded corner on the post out there. I've got it marked with a razor knife, and I'm just going to eyeball corner. got in the end a radius corner to match the radius corner on our deck post. Sweet! 
Nice. That's the idea right there. Match the post. Let's look closer at these screws because they're pretty incredible. They have a little cutter right there. It cuts a hole for the screw to go into. Then it has a reverse threaded section that actually has deeper threads. That draws the board down tight before the head of the screw goes into the material so you don't have to sink that too deep to draw the board down. Man, that's pretty smart. Yeah. Yep. Hello! What do you think? Where should the handrail go? Come on down, we're talking about handrails. Oh here you gosh, go. got the whole oh, meeting of the minds. Everybody's here. Oh, no. Where would you put it? Outside or inside edge? I'm right handed, I'd put it on the outside. But if you're going down, it's on your left hand. Oh! 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 oh. 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 oh it wouldn't be on his left if he walked down backwards like this. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, the handrail on the right side. That's safer. Okay, dude. I've got my two end boards, one there and one down there. Now we're gonna snap a line for our first row, but we're gonna do the third row in first because I don't have to notch around any of these posts in the third row. And then once the decking's down, we have something to stand on, we can go out and do this more meticulous kind of work out here that takes a minute. You have to do a lot of cutting and measuring. So we'll snap it. And the rest of the rows will be self-spaced by those uh, hidden clips. We just have to get this one row perfectly straight. That's important. Uh, I'm on it. Okay. Yep. Looks good. I got good marks. You feeling warmer? Not yet. <laughs> it's freezing out here. I got my. You uh, look warm. It's called a redneck sleeping bag. Oh. <laughs> you look like you could lay under a truck and fix anything right now. I'm about to lay under my truck. <laughs> we got one good straight row. We were very meticulous to get this really straight. And I've tacked it with a couple of face screws about every four feet. One thing I want to note is that I'm leaving an eighth inch gap at the ends. And that's for expansion on this material. It's cold right now. When this gets really hot in the sun in the summer, it will expand a little bit. So I'm leaving that gap so it has somewhere to go. You can use a new phone, man. You should get a new like iPhone 12 Pro or something. I tried today. They don't have any. All the team boppers got them. You need Ray J Builder Bros? Yeah. You need Ray J to call you in a phone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call me in a phone. All right, hey. Yeah. Really sharp edge. Yeah. Not sharp. Uh, that's a pro tip of the day. I got another pro tip of the day. <laughs> Give the keys to the backhoe to the guys that show up on time. <laughs> pro tip of the day. <laughs> Jamie has been in here extending this center wall that runs from the basement floor to the top level in the center of the stairwell. And we're just extending 16 foot two by fours, clipping them off at the angle of the stairwell, making a nice railing. Yep. The blocking team's been hard at work with the handrail blocking. Finally made up your mind which way it's going, I guess. And fire blocking. And fire blocking. Woo. Handrail, bracket can go anywhere. Where's the fire blocking? Oh, it's over here. Wow, look at this, fire blocked. Wow. Good job, guys. That was that was faster than I expected, actually. Why are you guys always doubting us? <laughs> I'm just surprised, just pleasantly surprised. What do you got in there? Uh, a snack? You want some? I'm sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is my normal kind of hot sauce here, the mule sauce, really good. Jono keeps bringing this ghost pepper. And my honest review is this is the hottest hot sauce I've ever tasted. In case you're wondering, tropical pepperco ghost pepper. Pretty hot. One drop will do you in. Well, what if I slap that on my frozen burritos? You can do it, man. I'm I'm staying with Mule today.
that guy. Beat it. <laughs> Two by six. Hey, hot guy. Let's talk about the stagger I'm doing. I'm doing a three row stagger. That's about a four foot piece. Next row, about an eight foot piece. And then the next row, 12 foot piece. So that's what I call a three row stagger. That gives you two full rows that run through between a joint that lines up on the same joist. And that's just kind of what looks good. So it's pretty important to think ahead when you're ordering the length of decking because you can get the decking in 12 foot lengths, 16 foot lengths, 20 foot lengths. You want to make sure that you can do your stagger pattern and not have a lot of cutoff waste because you're just throwing money away if you have these little cutoffs at the end of each row that are unusable. So we did that. This is a 36 foot long deck. We're using 12 foot boards. That's three boards per row. And then we'll cut one of those boards to make the stagger uh, on each row. My saw set on like a two degree bevel and I'm cutting a back bevel on all the end cuts so that the face is what hits first, not the bottom because I'm leaving that gap. It just tends to help the gap do more. There's a look at the grain and the coloration of this stuff. It looks great. Whereas wood decking, I put on some of my projects uh, looked like it needed to be replaced after two or three years. So as far as this costing a little more, I think it's a great investment. I do try to talk all my clients into using it because we put a lot of effort into trying to get the decking down really nice. You hate to think about two or three years from now, the decking material itself just being shot. It's depressing. I think I just saw a flurry. I think we should better back up and get out of here. It's not snowing. Bro, it's flurry. It's barely anywhere. even cloudy. Man, I don't know where you're looking. Over there, it was blurry and everything. <laughs> hey, did Jason leave? Yeah, yeah. Why'd he leave? Said uh, he had a dentist appointment in Raleigh. <laughs> what? Jimmy and Arlo are down in the pit and they're uh, boxing in here. This was block. Wait, see that's block. And uh, we're gonna have to insulate this and sheet rock it and all that. So it's got foam and then we've tap conned all these furring strips to the block. And that looks like a lot of work. <laughs> that was a lot of work for this tiny little thing. Yeah, but that, that'll work. Yeah, looks good. You need that? Nope. You can leave it on there. We're gonna cover it. So, flash it up. I'm a professional. Yeah. So we got all the easy rows done. Now I gotta do these notcher pieces. I'm just gonna bump it up here, use my speed square to mark across the post and mark these notches and put it in. A little bit of fine fitting happening right here. Okay. Chisel work. First try. Let's see if she fits. It's gonna fit first try. I got high expectations, you know. <laughs> no, we got these clips. Oh, the clips. Oh, the clips. Is it going to go? I don't know. Oh, Once it goes, it ain't coming out. Hey, step on that end on there. It better fit right. Ooh. Oh, man. Wow. wow. All right. All right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> what do you say now? Oh. <laughs> it looks a little tight. Well, we didn't finish, but we got really close. We'll finish next time if we don't get snowed out. Thanks again to Trex Decking for partnering with us on this build. 
Check out the link in our description if you want to find out more about their Transcend line or any of their products. Thanks again for building with us today, and we will see you next time. Oh, not my face, dude. You gotta give me a little heart. Dude, it's not like I'm a professional. Give me a heart so I have time to get underneath it. I'm a professional. Allie Huber with peanuts. Oh. It's my skill too, bud. How's that shell taste? Good, Lord. That can't be true. You all the vitamins back. You could just take vitamins. <laughs> Thanks, man. See ya.